Frederik, welkom to, uh, to the Clare Safaris. Um, we close to probably between Tosca and Bray, in the Kalahari yeah. area. We call it the Green Kalahari. And uh, you're here for uh, lioness, yes. yeah. female lion. And I wish you a, a good hunt and a safe hunt. And uh, we're going to look for some springbok and baker and steelbok maybe. Yeah, let's see what we can find. Yeah. But uh, welcome here, enjoy your time here. you together here with Gula, your friend, and, and Swiss, our cameraman. <laughs> so uh, enjoy your hunt and, and welcome again. Thank you very much. So, and we have a pick. Well done, Frederick. That Thank was you. A, a quick shot and a, I think a good shot. Yeah. Nice, nice young female. You can make some carbon horses. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well done. She was quartering a little bit. Mm. Get it from here. The bullet went out. Nice. Neck off. Good shot placement. Excellent. That's good carbonosi meat, eh? Adam? Yeah. So we had quite a nice start to this hunt. Um, Hans asked that uh, if we do see a water hawk or so to shoot it for rations and uh, here we are. So about half an hour into lunch we bumped into three water hogs, and then this one nicely stood still for uh, enough time for a nice shot. Morning. Uh, we had an excellent evening next to the fire. I had a couple of chats. Uh, the men were very tired last yesterday because of a long drive. Yeah, yeah. This is our first full hunting day. Yesterday we were just driving around, looking at the menu, looking to find some tracks, but uh, no fresh tracks. So uh, this morning we will start with the water holes, checking the water holes. We will concentrate on that the lioness and uh, look around the water holes for fresh tracks don't find tracks on the water holes we will drive the main road see if something cross or walk down the roads and then um, if we pick up something fresh um, we will we will follow those tracks and and see if we can find the lioness um, the grass is a little bit tall it makes it dangerous to hunt lion this year the shots will be quite close, um, 20, 30 yards max. Um, if we don't, don't find any fresh tracks now, we will also look for a nice springbok for you and maybe a steenbok early, steenbok daker. We still have a chance to, to find them as well. Um, with the soft sand, because I'm used to uh, tracks on harder ground, so is it easy to see the difference between a male line track and a female line track if if it's a track that that's just walking uh, you will clearly see the difference um, a lion the big males is, is much bigger than the females but uh, if that track is a running track you know you can still still see the difference but then the track becomes also big so um, but if it's just a normal track on the road, you will definitely see the difference. Okay. It's almost twice the size or half the size in the male, but you will see the size.
So this is the afternoon of our first full hunting day. Uh, we had a very nice morning, we saw extreme lot of game. We saw even some, we even had an incident with uh, buffalo bulls tackling each other and one bull got hurt a bit. So it was quite an experience to see that and hear that close by. At the moment, we just want to look at the springbok quickly. Some zebra. So we can maybe get off and get a little bit closer and have a good look. It looks quite wide. And then we can decide. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just like that. You need to shoot them through the ground if you get them. Well done. I don't know. It's difficult to tell the distance from here. Do you know what the distance is? I couldn't end it in time. Okay, anyway. It's close to 200. Yeah, so. But maybe it's just a little bit up. We were off this afternoon to start looking for lion again when we spotted this very nice springbuck. And uh, Fricky didn't give up. But, uh, because the wind was swirling the whole time. And it kept ahead of us the whole time, the whole time, the whole time, the whole time. And then, um, yeah, finally, I don't know, about two clicks later, <laughs> <laughs> we got a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the wind so. was bad from the start and he was with uh, those impalas and then they joined up with uh, the springbok yeah. but finally yeah but thanks for the support on the yeah, elbow no. yeah elbow yes. covid elbow Good morning. This is the second day um, trying to look for lions. We haven't seen any signs or tracks of the lions yet, so we're thinking they're holding up in a because spot they killed something. That's what the theory is. We will see today. But uh, I think we're going to target the water holes and see if there's any fresh tracks at the water holes because they have to drink water. What do you say, Fricky? Yeah, yeah, I think they definitely caught something somewhere. That's why they don't cross most of the roads and visit the water holes. But I'm sure last night they, they should have gone to some of the water. And uh, we're driving down this main road, a lot of buffalo tracks now here. But, um, We'll see if we don't find any fresh tracks and then we're heading for the top water there's three four water holes on the road and we'll circle those water 
and see if we can find a fresh track. Hopefully we're lucky today. Yeah. No, lucky I think, Sunday. I think I think it's time. Uh, Frederick, um, yeah, it's just after eight and uh, we found a nice fresh track. Looks like a lioness. Um, we cut the block. Looks like she, she followed the road here and she went up this road. So we're going to follow the tracks with a cruiser um, and see where it goes and maybe we'll spot her. Otherwise, where the road stop, where the tracks go into the bush, I think uh, we'll follow the tracks from there. Um, but let's see, we take a drive and maybe we will spot her. Oh, be nice. And then from there we follow the tracks, but it looks quite fresh and hopefully we will get lucky. Hope so too, yeah. yeah. yeah it's the first time we've seen actually tracks. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it took a day or two, but we finally found a track. Thank you. Okay, right. let's see. Okay, so we're on the tracks now, but we are seeing her and she's following. She's going straight away from us. Um, we're just trying to catch her, see where she's going to lie in the shade. She lies now. So if she picks up her head again. Just wait a bit, just okay. wanna see her head. Yeah. I've got a perfect line now. You see the ear? I see the ear. Go to the right, to the hump. Yeah, I see the hump. And then into the grass. Yes, I've got it. Okay. Are you happy? You still see the hump? I still see the hump. Okay, into the grass. Into the grass, yes. Okay, okay everybody ready? Okay. Okay, hey, well done, Frederick. Okay. Let's wait a bit, wait a bit. Wait a bit, your first shot was good. Excellent. Well done. And a good second shot as well. <laughs> well done. Yeah. That is good shooting. <laughs> Hold up, eh? <laughs> yeah. The rifle's on safe. Uh, it's not safe. The line's not safe. Okay. Okay, but it looks good, Frederick. Let's just walk up slowly. The shot of yours was excellent. Well done. Uh, look. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Hans. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you, Bula.
Yeah, well done. That was fun, Thank eh? you, Swiss. friend yo um, what an adventure um, I am so glad that you could uh, participate in one of my lifelong dreams so thank you for being here um, and enjoying the hunt with us thank you Bula Peter, thank you very much for the opportunity to um, have joined you on this hunt here in the Kalahari it is always a, a big pleasure being yeah, with a, a friend to do a magnificent hunt like this. It's been a hard hunt. I mean, we've been at it for two days. Sun has been beating down on us. And then uh, eventually we managed to close the deal on this lovely lioness of yours that's lying here. I mean, we've been talking about this hunt for many months. And uh, it really just came down to excellent tracking, excellent shot placement, um, awesome backup that you had the follow-up shots it was just out of the box so uh, congratulations and uh, enjoy your trophy once you get it back home I'm sure this will be uh, the tying point to many conversations going forward yeah congratulations yeah. buddy I'm, I'm super glad for you honestly you've done very well well, Thank done. You, well done my friend Thanks. This is uh, quite a nice cherry on a cake on an excellent hunt. I've been looking at shooting a nice steenbuck or hunting a nice steenbuck for a while. And um, Fricky was talking about this uh, nice spot where he knew there was nice steenbucks. And uh, we spotted one and we spotted a daker. And next to that was this old fella. I mean, look at his ears, he's tatted. He's got secondary growth on his horns. He might not be the longest tin buck, but uh, I am extremely happy with this old man. Bula, thank you so much for joining on this hunt and um, experiencing everything with me. I mean, oh, it's, uh, it's something I'll really cherish the rest of my life. This whole uh, hunt, the lion hunt, the spring buck. And then this beautiful little steenbuck. Yeah, you know, Freda, congratulations. Um, I know you've, that you've been after a, a steenbuck for quite a while. And um, well done. Congratulations on taking this ram. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Really, that's well done. 
and uh, Fricky, thank you very much for, for the last days of thank hunting you with you. And we are really looking forward to our next hunt with yeah, you guys. Um, nice that's going to be awesome. Yeah, thank you very much for your great hospitality. Thank you. We good, appreciate good it. Company. Yeah. So with uh, this, uh, we will probably finish this uh, little video for the hunt. And um, that's it. Until next time. Happy Keep days. following and uh, enjoy.